everyone and welcome back in some more Jurassic World Evolution 2. I hope you guys are all doing well, having a great day, evening, afternoon, night, morning, wherever you are in this world, and staying safe. Hopefully you all have a wonderful Wednesday. Um, yeah, and welcome back to Corsica. Um, slightly change of plans, um, rather than be doing decorations, we actually will be doing um, the herbivore paddock right here. Um, we might do some cleaning or some sprucing here just for the maybe the the working area um, just so that it's not so plain. I uh, do want to try to to get most of this species out before we start adding too much decoration. Um, this is still PlayStation 4 so it might get pretty laggy as we goes uh, but and then we're gonna leave the arrival area um, kind of for the last because we're still we might still move the path around and everything so so rather than changing and moving the creation as we go we'll just wait until I guess kind of the end or at least until the path the the, the path and the way we want to set it up is completed now to begin with though we need some species so Let's check what we can put in here. Now, there's a lot of species that don't get along. Um, most like sauropods usually get along with everything. The ones that usually have issues is the ceratopsids, the ankylosaurid, and then the stegosaurid. They don't tend to want to get along. It's like if we look at the anky, anky likes any, any other ankylosaurids and any stegosaurid. So they're good with the ceratopsids and everything, but they don't like the stegosaurid. Now if we go to Stegosaurid, they don't like the Ankylosaurid or the Ceratopsid. So that creates issues and that makes things difficult to put like an enclosure all together. Um, I did remove the, 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 I did remove the fighting and everything, but try, we still like to try to get it done according to like the standard-ish. We might still try to toss a, um, a Stegosaurid into the mix, but I think we're going to go Sauropod, Ankies, Ceratopsids, Adrosaurids, Ornithomimids. So basically, yeah, but, and we're going to go for, as for Sauropod, I think we're going to go with the Alamo, um, because, well, I'll, don't use the Alamo very often. Um, there's a lot of things that I'd like to have, like the 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 other Dino packs, but we don't have that right now. So we'll just go with this. Um, which one is the reduced need? It's these ones, right? Reduce the environment needs of all dinosaurs, and yeah, okay. Just want to make sure that the needs are the needs are just dropped down. It'll make it will make it 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 will make it easier to just get along with everybody. Um, all right. What we're gonna do? We're gonna do two batches of Alamo, so we have at least four um, four sauropod into the. Oh, we're still on pause. Sorry, I, I have a tendency to put it on pause for the, for before I start. Um, all right, so we're gonna go the Alamos for for the sauropod. Now we need to find Ornithomimid. Ornithomimid will be pretty easy, so we don't have to worry too much about it. Um, let's look for the Ankylosaurid. That will get along with as much as possible. Um, Anky seems to be good. Krypton. We get sauropod into my bits. Our top set of the sword, Pachycephalosaurid. Okay, so Krypton's good too, but we already used Krypton in the last. Actually, and we already have Krypton in this park, so let's not do that. Oh wait, we already have. Oh, we already have Ankylosaurid. Well, we don't have any Stegosaurid. Now the problem with the Stegosaurus the sword is that they don't get along with the Ceratopsid. Okay, let's see. 
Yeah, that's the issue, right? That's why we didn't go. Right? That's why I was thinking of not going that way. Uh, do we have one that gets along with Ceratops at all? I don't know why. Is it because that they all have spikes? <laughs> They're just like, no, this does not get along. You got horns. I got horns. You know, we just can't be together. Okay, well, I guess we might still have to go for the... Yeah, none of them wants to be with Ceratops for sort of reason. Okay, uh, so let's still go with the Anki for now. I was thinking maybe you pull. You plus Min my we already have them in my... No, though. Yeah, I think we're gonna go Uplo. So let's go Uplo. I like it's definitely one of my favorite an Ankylos Ball. It's I don't think it's considered an Ankylos Sword, but in terms of species itself, it's one of my favorite in that in that genre. So let's go with humble, social. Tolerant. We might still be able to put some stuggies on it. Uh, one to three. Okay, let's do two packs of those. Two packs. <laughs> two packs. What am I talking about? Okay. So now we get the Ink of the Sword. Um, as far as Ornithomimid goes, I was thinking Struties. They're not the biggest of the three. But I feel like I feel like we don't use the strategies enough. And of course we'll probably do two two of those as well. What did they come at? Flock of seven? Um did they get along with other or the other ornithomimid? Maybe we can put Strutis in Archeos. Maybe like one... Uh, yeah, maybe we could put all the Anathomimid. They don't usually fight within, within each other, so... Maybe we can put all three of them. Like one flock of each? That could, spru that could spruce the... Oops. That could spruce the, the, the entire paddock. Get all three. Get all three. Get all seven. Our lamos are ready. Get all four. All right. So while this is going, now let's see what we want to do, how do we want to do the paddocks. Alright, let's go with the full fence, the full the full concrete fencing, because, you know, we gotta control, we gotta control, not control, but, we gotta make sure that it's safe. They are, they're going to be big boys and big girls. Um, okay, let's curve it that, oh, maybe not. Keep going there, and slowly curve it that way. We'll try to take the most out of the enclosure, uh, the, the area. I hate when it does a double tap like this. Okay, oh, this the end is over here. Um. Okay, we don't want to go too far, so I think we're gonna cut it there, and we're gonna start heading. 
towards the edge. At this edge here. Cut it off right here. And then run it on the side here. All the way across. Oops, did we get too close? Just ever so slightly. Yeah, we don't need to go up that way. We'll, we'll stay at the bottom of the bottom of the hill. Um, this will actually change and move. So let me remove this. Yeah, I know the pad's not connected. It's all good. Yeah, I mean, it the coverage is low. We all know that as well. We'll get there. We will get there. Gotta remove this. 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 Where is the fence right here? This one. And let's close off the... Oops. Ready? We're outside? That's weird. Okay, that went too close then. So we're still too close. Just a little bit like this, and then we're gonna start bringing it back to here. There you go. Now should give us like a yeah, that's a pretty sizable enclosure. <clears throat> we could cut it off for a little bit shorter. Hmm. We could cut it off like here, maybe. It's not gonna remove a whole lot, but I'm just trying to think of the line here and what we want to put here. Mm. Okay, let's do that. Oops, wrong button here. Okay, let's remove these. I'm just gonna make it slightly shorter. Not not by a whole lot. We'll cut it right here. What are you doing, game? That was just weird. Okay, let's cut it off this way. Okay, that will remove just ever so slightly, but it looks a little bit better, and then we gives us a little bit more space to put stuff here once we get to like uh, either carnival. Colonel Paddocks or the uh, the second plaza and so on. Uh, where do we want to put the water? 
Actually, no, let's put the the tour truck. Let's put the tour truck uh, road or path before we before we start adding anything to the uh, to the enclosure itself. So the so we enter here. Uh, we can expect it to have to go back up to there even after the car the car knows so let's go this way okay so I think as far as carnivores goes What do you mean it's obstructed by a heavy fence? Isn't that the whole point? So I'm gonna put it like this for now, because this would this would make it go out. And until we f until we figure out what we want to do with the rest, that I'm not too sure quite yet. I'm gonna make it come back in here. And then go around and see as much as we can out of this um, out of this paddock, really. I mean, it's all going to be herbivores, so uh, the road is here. So like this. Okay. So now that will uh, reactivate it. Uh, now as far as water goes, where do we want to put the water here? Um, maybe put water in, in a few places. So I'm going to make kind of maybe like a lake here. Maybe we can have Kind of like a small river here ish. So we're going to have a lot of dinos in here, so I'd like to have a little bit of water here and there. I don't think that's too bad. I'm gonna take the trees out of the water though. And we'll adjust to the required needs for the species as we go. So this, this is not meant to be a swamp, so let's, let's remove those. Could be could be akin to the to the, the swamp land a little bit, but uh, try to make it a little bit different. Maybe more tropic tropical or something of that sort. All right, so let's release some of our species right now. Start with the sauropod, so we can make them a zone of their own. And if everything goes well, we might be able to just throw some stick of sword in there as well let's look at some toes oh no they're not gonna look up they're not gonna show us some toes hello alamo sir or ma'am you guys came out pretty close and pretty close in color eh just two different tones of green I guess maybe the second one's kind of like bluish. Why are you underground? The first one, the first one is falling through the map right now for some reason. But oh, there he goes. 
Not too sure what happened there, but he is literally falling off the falling through the ground. Gonna wait just a second here to release the second species. The second. I mean, we might be able. To, we might be good. <clears throat> Get the second, the second batch. Hopefully, different colors. Well, wishes wishes granted. We got a red one. Holy, you're bright. Red and green. What's the second one looking like? Brown. So both, <clears throat> both, uh, both clutch had the. Uh, had similar color patterns, just different shades of the same palette, kind of. Okay, not these four out before we release the other ones. Uh, what are you guys' needs? Just so I know. So we need forest, and we get, we need tall nut. Okay, let's not worry too much about the forest right now. Uh. Tall nut. Tall nut. So we need this. Um, where would we want the sword but to just hang out? Maybe on top here? I don't think they're going to need that much. We could probably spread it out a bit. You mean put like a patch here? Because that's ground nut as well, right? So it will fit It will fit some other species as well. Uh, maybe not here. We'll do need to play some fo some forest as well. Hmm. Gonna have to play with the forest. For now, let's just move them over. Forest will probably adjust itself as we go. As long as they have food for the time being, until everybody is in the enclosure, then uh, can you not select? All right, cool. All right, so I'm gonna toss one here. I would, yeah. Normally, I would spread them across the enclosure, but these guys are pretty slow. So I'm, I'm gonna try to put them. Somewhat close to each other. Heading to collect the asset. And if they want to move, they'll move in herds and move down, move downwards and explore a little bit. Um. So let me do. Let me do what I was going to do. Let's do the other ornithomimid. So we'll do a pack of galley, a pack of, and a pack of archeo. It'll allow us to not only have the same ornithomimid, well, not the same ornithomimid, but all the, ornithom the ornithomimid, but also all the three of the species, since they all somehow get along. A pack of galley and a pack of archaeos. They're one of the few species I will actually tolerate, tolerate more of their of their. Um, same species. They're not very picky. Oops. No, no. The only one we do. The only one we do is this one. All right. So then one flock of our kills. I wonder why the the galleys is bigger than the other ones, but I think they have a bigger. A bigger, a bigger clutch than the other ones. <clears throat> yeah, Strates is like what? Eight? Seven. So seven Strates, Archeo is eight, and then the Galley is ten. Which is kind of 
strange since the galley is slightly bigger. But we won't judge, we won't say anything. Alright, next will be the U plus. See what we got. Well, that's a pretty bright one right off the bat. <clears throat> that's both red. Red and black. I like that. That's cool. I would say that would, I would say that's the regular Phoenix color. Mine is usually black and blue. But you could call it the Phoenix the, the Phoenix Eupocephalus. This is a Uaposephalus, an herbivore and relatively harmless dinosaur. As long as you stay out of the way of the heavy club on his tail. If it swings that your way, you could be <laughs> relatively finished. I don't think that's going to be a relatively finished, Isaac. That's a, a pretty broken kind of statement there. <laughs> you are relatively broken. Like, period. You don't even need a blender at that point. That's a... Huge meat tenderizer. Wow, another red and black. That's interesting. Either we got lucky or unlucky. I'm not too sure. That club, that club is insane. I just rea I just realized that the um, the Alamo didn't have an introduction. I like it at all. All right, that's six U plus. What is U plus? What is on your knee? Ground fruit and ground leaf. Asset delivery. Okay, so we'll play with that a little bit. Fruits and leaf. Fruits and leaf. Ground fruit. That's fiber. Okay. Uh, let's put you guys maybe around here. We'll put a little bit everywhere as well, but I'm sure there's going to be other species that might require that as well. So I'm going to put the fruits mostly here. I'll remove the ones in the water as well in a second. Here. Okay, and then ground leaf. Try to put the ground leaf on this side. So it's not too it's not too far off. Because it's like right side by side. Yeah, kind of. We can put so I'll put some in the, in a, like patches here and there maybe. They don't move too much, so it's not like we need to. Can I have some ground leaf here? Maybe a ground a, a patch a patch a patch here. And as far as ground fruit goes, maybe we can have a small, small patch here. But they'll probably tend to stay in the same corner-ish of the, of where the, the stuff is. Because we still need space for fiber and for forest. Although we should be able to kind of mix and match there as, as we go. I'm pretty sure the only two moments are are about the fiber and the leaf. Okay. The the slow species, I'm gonna try to put them kind of like in the same area ish, so that they spread out. Uh, 
a little bit, but they do more territory and find e and find each other because I don't want. If they go too far from each other, then they will. They'll be lonely and so on. And the comfort will go down. Is where I didn't remove the comfort, but like, yeah. See the Alamo. How are we looking for territory right now? Yeah, so yeah, at least they're at least they're in the same area, so their territory is still there. They know that they're all together, and everything, and that they'll expand a little bit as we're. They're gonna expand as we go, or as they go. Um. All right. While well, they do this, now we got the we got the Onitomimid. We need we we're, we need to think about Ceratopsids. And Adrosaur. Now, what kind of Adrosaur would we want to have in there? Or a Ceratopsid? So they like Adros. See, they, these ones don't. I guess the Casmo don't don't preferably say they like sauropods. They like other Ceratopsid, which is kind of weird. Uh, but they don't like pentaceratops or nasitoceratops. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, let's try to check for ceratops. And what could we put in there? We had nasitos on the other ma on the other map before, so maybe let's not go for. What about pachyrhino? That's kind of different, right? They don't like sinos. They don't like toros. They like ankylosaurid, adrosaurid, and ornithomimid. That would be different. It's not quite the. We had oh, we do have styras out too. Yeah, I think let's go with Pikey. It'll be it'll be it'll be a different type of like ceratops in here. With the the more of a hump, not a hump. Uh, what would you call that? I to say it's a horn, but it doesn't really look like a horn. It looks more like a like a big a big nose. Uh, how big of a clutch do you guys do? Five. Um. Okay, let's do two boxes of this as well. The park might the park might start getting a little bit flaggy, but we should be okay. This and the carnivores will probably. I mean, we might be okay. Might, I might have to do some smaller, <laughs> some smaller packs here. Hey, we're dark on the channel, right? We're darkness. We just we either. Oh no, we were supposed to do five. Did I select all five? I didn't. Damn. I'll have to do one extra egg. Oh, it is what it is. I'm just gonna wait for the Uplo to move. The last one. Everybody should be happy. Oh, we're gonna be, like I said, we're gonna arrange arrange the rest of the enclosures as we go. Now I know, I know, a lot of you guys are gonna be like, but Dark, you can do this. Dark, you can do that. Dark, you can. I know, or like. <laughs> you, maybe maybe you guys don't like how it looks like, and that's possible. I'm not the best. I'm, I'm definitely not the best park builder, or like I have the most imagination. Look at an ostrich or emu, then look at this latest dinosaur, the Struthiomimus, and tell me you don't see a connection. This is one of the more bird-like dinosaurs that we've brought back from extinction. It literally has a beak instead of teeth. It's an herbivore that prefers to move in herds. Overall, a fantastic addition to the park. A cheap, a cheap addition. Uh, but yeah, I, like I said, I'm not. I'm definitely not the best at park building, and so on. So, do bear with, do bear with me, <laughs> as like as as we pro proceed or progress. I'm gonna release everybody right now.
There was a lot of controversy about dinosaurs being the ancestors of modern-day birds before this one was introduced into the park. It's an Archaeornithomimus. I think it puts some of those arguments to rest. That's it. All right, that's it. Let me do an, uh, another pecky rhino. We'll choose. We'll choose the better egg of the batch. Galleys. Some of these animals present a real test of our abilities. Take, for instance, this latest dinosaur, the Gallimimus. It's an opportunistic omnivore that does best in groups. That alone isn't the problem. But the speed. Gallimimus is incredibly fast, which presents special challenges for the ranger teams tasked with monitoring them. It would. It definitely would. All right. Here comes the fun. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you guys are gonna. The 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 chapter will have a lot of fun just running after these guys. And we'll move all of them <laughs> when he's done. Alright, let's check on the Uplos. Asset transported. Turtles? We got turtles in the water. They're having they're having this social animation in the water. Uh, that's kinda funny. Good timing. In terms of like uh yeah, the ground leaf is on the right. So they'll have to, to they'll have to match up with the other one. They have plenty of gun fruit. They have a plenty of open space. Um, by reducing their needs, is gonna make it's gonna make the, the enclosure easier to kind of like to fix itself. Um, this one will be able to see the uh, the ground the ground leaf on that side there. It just needs to match the territory with these ones. Which right now there's no territory for some reason. Contested territory. There you go. So just about to enter together. There's two leaders. There's not two leaders. There's only going to be one leader. There's only going to be one. They'll fight for for dominance. <laughs> it's like it's like a pool of like little fish or tadpoles It's running all over the place. All right, did we? Did we? Yeah, there you go. We switch, and then they should have enough of both, right? Yeah, ground leaf and ground fruit. He is running to to the ground leaf. All right, so these guys are good. The Alamos are here. We got two of them together, blocking the road. Where is the other two? Okay, there's one over here. Where did the other one go? We do have four, right? Maybe he's sleeping somewhere. Oh, there you are. There he is. Hiding on the other side of the forest. Now this will this will look nice when when they're all in here, when everything is in here. The ornithomimids are going to be the ones strolling around quite a quite a lot more. No, no, you're not returning. You're far from being done, sir. You have a lot of tadpoles still to... Well, they're not tadpoles, but it, look, it looks like a giant fish spawn. You still have... I mean, you're, in, you're about halfway done right now. You only need to shoot them once. They're pretty... They go down They, they go down with just one shot, so... <clears throat> if he doesn't miss it 600 times, then... You can do this pretty quick. How many is left? One, two, three. Oh, there's still quite a, quite a few actually. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Six are still not on the list. Oh. Alright, I'll give you a few minutes to do your thing. Uh, yeah. You close to be fine. Do we have a uh, eyes up? There's one here. Can we see the other ones through the, the fruit forest over there? Not really. They're all in the water. <laughs> so, there's three right here in the water. I'm not too sure what they're doing. Maybe they're batting, taking a bat. There's three here, and the other twos are right here. Three in the water, two there, and then the other one here is by himself. He might be coming back. Oh, he's coming. He's heading back to the group there. So he'll be fine. No lonely case. Alright, should be able to put the last ones on the list here and then start moving them once everybody is ready. I hate when they're so close to each other. You'll try to click on the one that you need to tranquilize and it's just gonna... There you go, I think that's all of them. Alright, you got a few more minutes to go. We got the Pachy Rhinos. What are we missing? Only some... Oh, Adrosaurs. Adrosaurs. Adrosaurs would be the next. Uh, we might not be able to release all of them today, actually. Um, what do we want for Adrosaur? Cories. One of the planets, Sauropod, and Keys. So, Cories could work. Oh yeah, we still have the Pachycephal Sword, right? Ooh, we're gonna have to check what are we gonna be releasing with them. Sauropod, Inkyo Swords, Digga Sword. We'll check both as we go. Uh, Edmonto could be a, could be alright. Edmonto Swords could be... Could be fitting into the build there for Adrosaurs. Uh, we could go with Iguanodon as well. Iggy's, Iggy's could be nice actually. I don't use Iggy's very often. Did we use Iggy? Did we have Iguanodons on the and on Malta? I can't remember. I know we had Mut. Uh, we do have Mutaboros here. Or do we go with the Hump, the Hump guy? Rano or, or the giant Oloro Titan? Ooh, actually the Titan could be nice. They are pretty sparkly. Not sparkly, but they have bright crest. And they are kind of the biggest sauropod we have. Ah, uh, not sauropod, sauropod. Adrosaurs. What's your population? Three to five? Um, I mean, we could go with two different ones. Maybe some Odorotanid Anigis? Rather than doing two of the same, that will give us two different two different type of adversaries. These they should be able to get along. So let's go with. I think that's what we're gonna do. Let's go with that. Just trying to get some diversities here, as much as possible. If they since they don't have any issues with each other. So, a batch of Oloro. and let's do a batch of Iggy. I do like Iggy's. Iggy's are pretty. I play. I play. I play with them on Pack of Titans as well. They're. They're always pretty fun. With their. With their toe. They thumb. Thumb spike. Um, fully humble, fully social, and fully tolerant. Thank you very much. And. So we'll do two flocks. They're gonna be smaller flocks or smaller smaller groups. But we're going to have two separate ones of Adrosaurs in there. We're going to have some bigger ones and then some some bipedal-ish ones and then some quadruple ones. Quadrupedal. That was a difficult word up there. Word. Word? Word. Skittish. Skittish is fine. Alright. 
We're gonna do the uh, we're gonna move the Nortonomaimid, and I think we're gonna leave the other three species for the next the next uh, episode because we're gonna run out of time. So let's select everybody here. This is definitely a good sense feature where you can like multiple multi select everything. And it tells you also all the species you're actually planning to move, and then you can move one species at a time. Uh, we are missing one Archeo. I oh, know, one's tricky actually. And one Archeo. Are we missing two? Are you having a hard time to actually? Sh yeah, we got a we got a sleeping one, so you're missing two right now. You, you just can't shoot it for some reason. Come on. So you shot you shot everybody else, but you can't shoot these ones. That is pretty sad, sir. And I don't want to have to read. Am I gonna have to recheck the whole selection because this guy can't shoot them? It's not even moving right now. How is it that you can't shoot it? There you go. So you have an easier time when they're actually like moving than when they're not moving. I think he landed. I think he got it. There you go. Finally. Good job, sir. Finalized election. All right. Let's do the treaties first. Now, th these are quick. So I'm gonna spread them on all, all over the place. They will move and they can make the entire territory their own. And I will do the same thing with the galleys, the archeos. I'm gonna go all over the place. They are very quick to move, move on and about. So they'll grow the territory in like no time. I'll put two in the center. Adding task. Uh, Archeos. Task received. Acknowledged. Here. Confirming task. There. Request there. No problem. There. Understood. Here. Asset one more here. And one here. Alright. Let's move those. I'm going to put them on fast forward here. Because <clears throat> they're gonna do one species at a time only. Uh, we can check their needs though. So ground fruits, forest, ground fruit is already laid out, so we're good for that. Uh, let's check the galleys. Delivery has been completed. Galleys will need ground leaf and forest. That's also out. And we're gonna need the. Uh, Struti. Strutis are here, actually. Strutis are already here. And ground leaf, which they're going to be fine as well. The forest is going to be the one the one need that we don't have right now. Um, actually, we could probably do a forest right in the middle. Asset transportation complete. Like, kind of make... Kind of make, like, the Asset center here, delivered. like, foresty. It's not like it's gonna be a thick forest anyway. We're in kind of like a deserty, deserty Mediterranean area, so. You can leave a few patches open as well. It doesn't have to be like completely full. That'll do for now, because we're still going to need some ground... I, we might need some ground fiber for the Pachy Rhinos. Okay, we're looking for Strutis, so there you go. So that they're starting to move on or on and about already, so... We got that done already. This one is over here. 
Don't know why the bubble is over there though. But like, since they move so much around, then the the, the, the territory will just like expand. We are a little bit laggy because we're starting to have a lot of species here and there. So that's also why I'm waiting for decoration. We <laughs> we might have went a little bit overboard here. Here we got the last two species going. So Struties are here right now. They're gonna be they're gonna be flocking together. We got some galleys over here, and then we should have some archaeo Confirming asset delivery. Right here. So if, if they're all gonna move around, and by the time we come back and bring the other species in the next episode, they might have all their territory set because they're gonna be running everywhere. But yeah, the game is having a hard time to follow right now with the, the with these zones and the territories and so on. Just too many dinos to take. Just too many too many dinos to look at. Like this is what it looks like right now. <laughs> it's a is a lot of species, guys. A lot of species, but a lot of the same species. And we got not only just the that, but we also have the tour truck. Like right now, all these. All how many is this? That is rough. How many cars is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Transportation complete. Sixteen cars in a row, guys. This is a, this is sixteen truck, sixteen tour trucks in a row. <laughs> They're blocked. Oh, well, they, we just they just got blocked again. The dino cars are just blocking the zone. Up. Oh. That one's gonna run right through. There you go. <laughs> but that was 16 door truck all together. Oh, we got a low health. Let me go back to time one. Who is at low health right now? Somebody's glitch? Oh, you're a glitch. Looking for food. Oh yeah, you, but your territory hasn't hasn't packed with the ground fruit yet. Yeah, you have ground fruit in your territory. You know where to go to get food. Oh, he's eating right now. All right, should be fine. He was maybe just far, he was probably just far away from the food source itself. But once the territory, like I said, once the territory bubble matches it together, then they find, they know where the food is and everything, then they'll find, they'll, they'll figure it out. There you go, we got a slight, a small flock over here. Little group. There's four individuals, five, five Gallimimus. And then we got some, we got some cars, hunk, hunking somewhere. <laughs> the whole, that's not gonna be the, the whole, the, the big tour, right? Where is the the big group right now? Oh, <laughs> the sixty cars. Oh, they're right there. Now they're <laughs> they're blocked by Sukumai misses now. Oh God, this is gonna be fine. We're gonna pay we're gonna pay attention to that on the next episode, but. For the meantime, let's leave it right here, guys. If you guys enjoyed the episode, feel free to subscribe and click like on the video. But yeah, bear with it, guys. This is the last park I'll be building on this game, so... Just bear with it for a little bit. I know it's going to be scuffy, it's going to be all over the place, but yeah. Just trying to enjoy the game, enjoy the park, just having a bit of a chill time and fun. But yeah, like I said, if you guys like the content, feel free to subscribe, click like on the video. Um, the next episode will be out on Friday, uh, but in the meantime, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, evening, afternoon, night, morning, wherever you are in this world. Do stay safe, take care of yourselves, and remember, darkness is everywhere. Dark, out.